Friends, today's video is about inverter. Before this, I have already made a video about inverter wiring. But after watching that video, there was a little doubt and confusion in your mind. To clear that doubt and confusion, I am making this video. So see, there is a room here. In this room, you can see two power sockets and a switchboard is there. This power socket is used to run this washing machine and here in spare, we have a power socket. After that, here we have a switchboard. Now this switchboard has three switches and through these three switches, our bulb, fan and this socket is controlled. Now if we want to connect the inverter in this room, then we need an inverter and a battery. Friends, this battery stores the power supply and this inverter converts the DC power supply to AC. Now there are some other benefits of this inverter like this inverter will charge this battery. Along with that, this inverter also has a changeover switch. I will tell you about this later. Now see friends, this inverter has three cables. One is red cable, the other is black cable and this one. So just understand how to connect all these cables. This red cable has to be connected to the positive terminal of this battery. And this black cable has to be connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Now see, this cable is our charging cable. That is, we use this cable to supply AC power to this inverter. So to supply power to this inverter, we use a 3-pin plug top. And after that, we take this cable and connect it to this plug top. Friends, this plug top has 3 pins. One is for earthing, the other is for phase and the third is for neutral supply. In the last video, you commented and asked how this inverter gets earthing. Friends, see, we have to connect this plug top to this socket. Now when we connect this plug top to this socket, what happens is that the phase supply, neutral supply and earthing goes into this inverter. Now this cable here, we connect the green wire of this cable to the body of this inverter. Due to which the earthing comes out of here and goes into the body of this inverter. That's why we don't have to give earthing to this inverter separately. So I hope that it clears the doubt that why we don't give earthing to this inverter. Friends, now we have to take output power supply through this inverter. So we get output power supply through this socket. That is, we get phase supply in the right pin of this socket and we get neutral supply in the left pin. So, understand what we have to do here. We have to take power supply from here, so we have to use a plug top. We will connect this plug top here and take the power supply. Friends, understand one thing here. We use our inverter to run low load equipment, like our bulb fan socket. We use the inverter to run such equipment. We don't run the washing machine through this inverter because this washing machine takes more load. Now, if you want to run this machine through the inverter, then your battery should have a lot of capacity. That's why we use the low load equipment in our house to run it. Now see, this is our switchboard. If we have to do connection of the power supply of the inverter to this switchboard, then what we do is, we have to remove the incoming power supply, that is phase supply, in our switchboard. That is, we have to remove the main power supply that came in this switchboard. So what we will do is, we will remove the wire that was looped from here. Now this switchboard is not getting phase supply. Now what we have to do is, we will connect a wire from the right pin of this plug top, this one, and connect it to any switch. Now friends, see here, we have given incoming power supply to all switches through a wire. Now we do not make any changes to its outgoing power supply. It will remain exactly the same. Friends, here our inverter connection is completed. Here, you must be having a doubt in your mind. Sir, you have not connected the neutral supply here and you are saying that your inverter connection is completed. This kind of confusion came to your mind in the last video as well. In that video, you commented that you forgot to connect the neutral supply. Sir, if our main power supply fails here, then how will our bulb and fan work? Friends, you asked the same question that why you have not used the neutral power supply. Friends, the neutral power supply of our inverter, that is this pin, a wire is connected to this pin. And by taking it, the neutral supply of our main power supply here, that is the neutral supply of our main power supply is connected to this pin. Understand it once through the diagram here. This is our inverter. We have given phase supply and neutral supply to this inverter. Now we have taken phase supply from here and connected with the equipment. And the neutral supply given to this equipment was given directly through the main power supply. You can see here. Now friends, see one thing here. The neutral terminal of our output socket here, one wire is looped from that terminal and connected to the neutral of our main power supply. That is, the neutral supply of our inverter has a connection with the neutral supply of the main power supply. 
due to which the neutral of our main power supply and the neutral of the inverter become common. Now if you use the phase supply to connect all the equipment in your house and use the neutral of the main power supply then all the equipment in your house will work. There will be no problem here. So that's why we are only using the phase supply here. I hope that the doubt in your mind that why we are not using the neutral supply here has been cleared. Friends in the last video you also commented that how our battery will be charged and whether our bulb and fan will work through the normal power supply or not. So friends to understand this understand the function of our inverter once. The plug top here should always be connected to this socket and this switch should always remain on. Now what happens here is that the phase supply that is the main power supply will flow from here and go to this inverter. Now what this inverter do is it convert the AC power supply to DC and after converting it to DC it will give to this battery due to which if our battery is discharged then it will get charged. Now there is one more thing here if you have a main power supply then your battery will not work. That is the power supply will not be taken from the battery. That is our inverter has a bypass switch inside it. That is there is a changeover switch. What does it do? If you have a main power supply in your house then what will it do is that our battery will be kept in standby. And what does our inverter do? The power supply will be taken from here and give it directly to this output terminal. And through the socket it will go to this switchboard. Which means our battery will not work. Now if for some reason the power supply in your house fails then what will happen? The power supply will stop coming from here. What will happen then? The changeover switch inside our inverter will change the power supply. That is the power supply will be taken by this battery and this inverter will convert the DC supply of this battery into AC. And after converting it into AC it will give it to this socket and through this socket we have connected a wire and given the power supply to the switchboard. So what will happen? the bulb, fan and socket in our house will turn on. That is, it will start getting power supply. I hope friends, you have understood here how our bulb and fan will work through normal power supply and how it will work through the battery. Now friends, if you want to do connection through two wires, that is, you want to take the phase supply of the switchboard and the neutral supply of the inverter, then how will you do it? So friends, what you have to do is, you have to remove the phase supply here and also the neutral power supply. After that what we do is we will connect a wire to the neutral pin of this 3 pin plug top and connect it to this neutral terminal. After that we will connect a wire to the right pin of this 3 pin plug top and give phase supply to our switch. That is what we have done here is we have connected the phase supply and neutral supply to the switchboard through this inverter. Now friends always remember one thing. If you are giving phase supply and neutral supply through the inverter in your switchboard then you do not have to connect your main power supply here. Your main power supply and the power supply of the inverter should not be connected to each other. If you connect both the power supplies here then there will be a short circuit. All the wiring in your house will burn. So here we only have to use one power source. Now friends if we only have bulb and the fan and we have to do connection of bulb through the inverter and we have to run this fan through the main power supply then I have already made a video on how to do connection of it. You can watch that video. I have given the link of that video in the description. You can click there and watch the video. Now friends, if you have to connect the inverter in your whole house, then what you have to do is, you have to connect the inverter to your main distribution board. Friends, if you want to learn how to connect the inverter to your main distribution board, then I have already made a video on that. You can watch that video. I will give the link of that video in the description. You can click there and watch that video. I hope that all your doubts have been cleared. Friends, if you like this video, then please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe it. Thanks for watching this video.